Nintendo Switch. How's it going, everybody? It's Yeong here with a Nintendo Switch news update. The following information comes from website IGN, who recently contacted a Nintendo representative to get some clarifications on Nintendo's upcoming new console. One of the first questions that IGN asked was if the Nintendo Switch would support Amiibos, which were a huge success for Nintendo despite meager Wii U sales. The Nintendo representative replied, If a Nintendo Switch game supports Amiibo, then the Nintendo Switch home gaming system will as well. In other words, yes, and this is made even more apparent by the fact that you can actually see Amiibos featured in the announcement trailer for Nintendo Switch. Overall, nothing too shocking here. A more interesting clarification that Nintendo made was regarding Nintendo Switch's docking station. One popular assumption is that the dock might provide additional hardware power so that when the Switch tablet is docked, games will receive a performance boost on the TV. But it seems as though this will not be the case. Nintendo had this to say about the matter. The dock is not the main console unit of Nintendo Switch. The main unit of Nintendo Switch is the unit that has the LCD screen, which the two Joy-Con controllers can be attached to and detached from. The main function of the Nintendo Switch dock is to provide an output to the TV, as well as charging and providing power to the system. Long story short, it looks like the dock is a glorified HDMI cable and charging station. No additional chips inside to provide a performance boost for games. This then truly begs the question, just how powerful is the main console unit? The trailer showed the tablet running demanding games like Zelda Breath of the Wild and Skyrim just fine, but at what resolution and frame rates, and how will this translate to the TV? Until we can get our hands on the console, that's hard to determine at this point. However, I will say that it's been confirmed that the Nintendo Switch is running off of a custom NVIDIA Tegra chip, which powered machines like the NVIDIA Shield, based on benchmarks that have been performed for the Integra, suffice to say that the chip is at least more powerful than the Wii U. However, if you're expecting PS4 level power and performance, you're out of luck. But I imagine that if games are downscaled to 720p, which is the rumored resolution of the tablet's LCD screen, games might still look pretty good, with the lower resolution balancing out the weaker power. Another interesting prospect that I can think of is that when the Switch tablet is docked onto the docking station, because it is being powered and not running on battery, it might overclock certain components in order to give greater performance, whereas when it's running on battery, it'll limit performance in order to increase battery life. But again, we don't know and it's all theoretical at this point, but sooner or later, Nintendo will have to give us information regarding the console's power. After all, the Nintendo Switch's big selling point is the ability to play any high-profile games like Zelda Breath of the Wild and Elder Scrolls V Skyrim on the go, so they have to prove that this can be done with little to no compromise. What are your thoughts on the matter? Do you think the tablet by itself will be powerful enough to render decent graphics on the TV without the dock boosting its performance? Do you think we'll see the Tegra chip overclock when it's plugged in versus when it's on battery? Battery. Let us know in the comments below, and to be further updated on all things Nintendo Switch, stay tuned right here on Young Yeah! I'll see you guys next time! Young out! <laughs>